Okay, so this is how you make a sign shop, and it's pretty simple. We'll do the player one first. You can put a chest, sign, um, your name, the amount of the item. So let's do 10. This is how much you're gonna person's gonna buy it for. So let's do 10 combo stone for three dollars. And if you wanna people will be able to sell it to you, you do this. The price that you want them to sell it to you for. So one S. Then at the bottom you write the item. So mine's cobblestone. And then you can also do admin shop. You don't need to have it placed on the item like you can place it on anything. But so now you go admin shop. You need to be admin to do this. Um let's do ten by one by is two no three and then we'll be one cell again. So then we do cobblestone. So but here's the thing. Okay, so if I do this, you left click, I'm pretty sure. And I can't buy from my own shop if it's my own. So you'd have to stock it for example. And you'd right click to buy. Now you on this one, you left click to sell. So um I think it's item ID four for cobblestone, but let's just do this anyways. So you're going to sell it by left clicking, you're gonna sell ten, continuously sell it, and you right click to buy. I'll sell it all back. And that's how you make one. It's pretty basic and simple, and yeah, I think it's pretty useful. And if you want to do it with, let's say, we're going to do it with one more item, diamonds. You can go, um, let's do normal shop, 10, no, 1, bias, 100. 25 cell um, diamond. You can have to stock up diamonds, or you can just do this. Uh, admin shop, just like before. One will be 100. Cell will be 25. And diamonds. The only difference between a dime between an admin shop and a normal shop is admin shop has infinite stock, so it will never run out. People can buy out this, like each time they buy it, one will go away. And if they sell it to you, you'll start stocking up. So, that's how you do it.